Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Ah, it's a cold, chilly, damp morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. You can see I'm kind of bundled up a bit. Uh, I'm recording this fairly early, uh, but probably won't get it posted until later today, uh, just because of all the craziness going on here. But uh, yeah, I got some, got some good news yesterday. So yesterday was my annual... Um, scan to check on my uh, cancer which has been in remission I suppose you'd say for six years now and uh, I once again got a clean bill of health so I'm really happy about that and with each passing year the uh, the, the odds of it recurring are less and less so this is this is really good news I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy uh, not unexpected honestly because of the course of treatment but uh, yeah good good news so Every year uh, this this day comes, and every year I've been making a video. Uh, sometimes I'll be out and about uh, doing it. Sometimes I just come back and, and sit down and, and tell you about it. And the reason I do this is is to raise awareness, uh, not not to talk about myself so much, although I will tell you the story, but to raise awareness of uh, cancers that, quite frankly, are killing men and, and unnecessarily killing men. So. I know a lot of you have followed me for a long time and you already know this story. Some of you are, are new, a lot of you are new. And uh, so I'm gonna tell the story again, just because I think it's important to understand uh, how lucky I was. So back in 2016, I was sitting in the living room, listening to music. I remember it very, very clearly. I had pulled a muscle, uh, thought I had pulled a muscle in my, my chest, my shoulder, somewhere in this area. And I was kind of, you know, massaging it and moving my arm around and trying to trying to deal with this. And as I'm doing this, I realize there is a very odd little lump there that wasn't there before. Uh, small, about the size of a grape, you know. I always give these things in terms of fruits, but yeah, it was about the size of a grape. And you know, I said, "Oh, that's not supposed to be there. I better better get that checked. I better do something about that." Now, the man in me, the guy in me, the, the guy that we all are, said, ah, it's just a knot in the muscle or something. I don't want to bother with that. It'll, it'll be gone in a couple of days. Leave it alone. Fortunately, that was about a 49% uh, effort on, on my consciousness part. <laughs> the other 51% said, this could be serious. You better see a doctor as soon as possible. Got up in the morning. I called my primary care doctor, he said, come on in. Uh, he checked it. He said, you know, I don't know. You, you've got pain? I said, yeah, it hurts. He said, well, I've been doing this for 40 years and I've seen one case of male breast cancer in 40 years. This is almost, it's probably you pulled the muscle and it's something about that or, you know, it might be some sort of a fibrous mass or something, you know, but it's not cancer. I, it's, it's just not cancer, but just to be safe, let's get it checked. So he gave me a prescription to go get a, an ultrasound done. So I, I go over to the hospital and uh, get the ultrasound done. And the guy doing the ultrasound says, yeah, I've never seen male breast cancer, but it's best that we check. And, and you know, he's doing the, the ultrasound, which is fun. You know, if you've never had an ultrasound, it's cold and <laughs> weird they, they, they like rub you down with this jelly and you just feel weird about it and so he does that and he says uh, you know I'm gonna go talk to a doctor I'll be back in a little bit and I sat in that room for uh, probably about 20 minutes and a doctor comes in and he says you know this looks a little odd um, I think we're gonna want to do a, a mammogram on you it's like is that even possible no oh, yeah, yeah it's possible Guys, if you haven't had, and I hope you haven't, and I hope you never do, but you don't want a mammogram. You really don't. And I'm sure you, you women that are watching agree with this, but there's nothing. And, and as a guy, there's absolutely nothing comfortable about this because, you know, you, you, they have to, like, sneak you through the hallways and stuff because it's all women. And, you know, and, and they put me in this room that was just, you know, it was clearly decorated for women. And, you know, God bless the women that go through this and, and, and everything. And I know that there's a lot more women that are dealing with breast cancer than men. And, you know, so they, 
They got like frilly stuff in the room and antiques and lots of pink and all that. It just was not comfortable. And uh, they go and they do it. And, I'm, and at this point, I'm thinking, this is just a massive waste of time. I wish I had just kept my mouth shut, you know, but OK, I do it. And it was it was not a pleasant experience, but I get it done. And I go back to sit in another room for 20 minutes. And doctor comes in and he says, it looks like you've got a cancerous mass. I said, wow. And he said, do you have any family history of breast cancer? And I said, yeah, my mom actually passed away from breast cancer. Oh, well, we want you to see a surgeon today, and we want you to get a biopsy done, and it's small, so they're probably going to be able to do a surgical resection if it is cancerous and, and all that, but you have to get on this right away. Uh, I did. I didn't actually stay at that hospital. I went to another hospital because my wife had dealt with um, uterine cancer earlier that year, which was cured surgically, which, you know, thank God for that. Uh, I shouldn't say earlier that this was January. So it was the previous year, uh, just before Christmas, actually, she had, she had gone through that. We went to the hospital that she went to because she really thought the staff was, was good there and the doctors were extremely good and, and they were, and I'm telling you, this hospital was just fantastic. Um, got in to see a Surgeon, uh, surgeon said, you know, we could do a biopsy, but why don't we just take this out and we'll biopsy it. You know, just, just get it out of here. And I said, okay, that sounds good. And I scheduled that and got the surgery, got it out. Uh, it turned out it was cancer, but it was encapsulated. It did not involve any lymph nodes. It was technically considered to be surgically cured. Uh, Every doctor I talked to, and I talked to a lot of doctors in this process, said the same thing to me. And this is the thing that just sends chills down my spine every time I hear this. They said, these things don't hurt. There's no pain associated with them. You pull the muscle. And the only reason you found this was that you pulled the muscle. And you were massaging it to try to, to work that out. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that I pulled that muscle. Because the reason that... These cancers are deadly in men is not that they're more aggressive or not that they're in any way more um, fatal other than we do not check for them. We, we are not aware. You know, women are trained from a very young age to look for this. Men, they look. So by the time we find it, it's far gone. It's metastasized. And uh, we're, you know, not going to recover from that. I got extremely lucky. Now, on the downside, while I was lucky in terms of its localization, uh, it was a very aggressive form of cancer. And they said, you know, just to be safe, we want to do chemo. We want to use a biological agent after the chemo. And then we want to do a course of radiation. And I said, okay, what, what, what does this actually mean? They said, well, you got about a 10% chance of recurrence. If you uh, do everything we just said, that'll bring it down to something like a 0.1% chance of recurrence. Sure, sign me up. Uh, went through that. It was hard. Uh, quite frankly, lost years of my life because of the, the after effects of it and everything. But I'm feeling great now. And, you know, I survived and I beat it. And I want everyone out there that's listening to this to understand that what I want for you is for you to be in that situation should God forbid this ever happen to you. So you've got to learn to check yourself. Men get breast cancer, men get prostate cancer, and men get testicular cancer, plus a lot of other cancers. But those are the three that kill us because we don't know we have them. So learn to check for breast cancer, learn to check for testicular cancer, Get screened for prostate cancer. Your doctor should be doing regular tests for that. And they're unpleasant, but get them done. Uh, you can find videos on how to check yourself for uh, both testicular and, and breast cancer. And please do it. And encourage other men in your life to do it. This is not an easy thing to talk about. This is not a comfortable video for you to watch, I know. And... I'm uncomfortable right now saying this to you, but it will save your life. It saved my life. It didn't save my life. I didn't know. I got lucky. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. 
I want you to go out when you finish this video, find resources, talk to your doctor, whatever it takes, and make sure that you're covered for those three cancers, breast, testicular, and prostate cancer. Because those are the, the things that are going to kill you if you don't catch them early. So, with that, friends, uh, I'm going to go off and I'm going to enjoy another healthy, happy year. And I hope you all do the same. I wish you all the best for the rest of this week. I'm going to do a live stream on Friday. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the full 90 minutes, but I'm going to, I'm going to do a live stream. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm in a good place and I'm, I'm, you know, feeling good right now. So I don't think there's going to be any issues with that. So hopefully I'll see you Friday night. And if not, I'll definitely be back on Sunday with something. Um, don't want to make this video about anything other than what I just talked about, but thank you all for your support over the past week. It's meant the world to me. We'll talk again soon. Take care and figure out how to check yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm.